Hello, this is a note on demonstrating the use of the Starfinder for great circle sailing solutions. Uh, there's an article online about it. We'll give a link to that. So the two examples we're going to do here is from, um, from this point on the Oregon coast here, 45 degrees 125 west, going to Japan, 38 142. And then here are the actual solutions that you can get from uh, here, starpath.com forward slash calc. There's uh, calculators there for doing that. So that's the answers we're trying to get from this, uh, from this uh, Starfinder thing. And the other one we'll do is from Nia Bay, from Nia Bay to Hawaii. Now this, the difference between the great, here you see there's a big difference. There's uh, 4,200 miles, 39. So there's 300 miles or something difference here and a huge difference in the routes. Here, there's not so much difference. There's actually a bigger difference than shows up here in this plot because the steps taken here are too big. But the difference is 235, the initial heading out 235 versus 224 coming down. And uh, I'll discuss that maybe in the article, the significance of that, even, even though the difference is here, not very much. This difference in the heading, though, is significant and can be uh, important tactical matters here. Um, so, and again, we're, we're not discussing necessarily the best way to do great circles. We're talking about doing it, solving it with the, with the Starfinder. So here's the main, di here's the disk we're using. That's the template. And we're doing a north, starting with a north latitude uh, departure. And so this line here, we draw on here. This we're calling the departure, the departure uh, meridian. And that you have to do with, you put this right like, trying to get to the center of that pin you know not right or left but right on the center and then it goes right through zero and you draw that line and then likewise any of these meridians you have to line up right in the center and then go through here the, the scales are all really compressed so we try to do as careful plotting as possible then we want for example we have two cases here two latitudes 45 um, uh, uh, 45 and 48 so we want to plot those latitudes on here, and we get those off of this scale here, this red template. And notice, it really doesn't matter what side you use, but it turns out that it's more accurate if you use the side that it's actually printed on. You get less parallax here. So if we want a latitude like over here, there's 38, 38 degrees from here to here, 38 minutes. Oh, uh, no, actually it's degrees. And um, so we get a dividers, and uh, dividers, let me see here. And then we would go on here to show 38. Let's see, there's a nice clean one there, and there's 8, so that's 10, 20, 30. So we could put the div right here, we would put that, and then come along here to 10, 20, 30, 38. As carefully as we can is the 38. 38, yeah, like that, 10, 20, 38. So that's the way you set those up. Then you would come over here, and on this, you would put this here, and that should come right out exactly on that one. Okay, so that's the way those are set up, and those examples are set up here. And, and so the first thing you do is you plot your two, well, one at a time, the two, the starting, the departure latitude here. Then, you compute the difference in longitude. The difference in longitude, like on this first one, which is going out to 38, it's 125 to 30, it's 142 east to 125 west. Now when you go up to the date line, which is somewhere here, you add that and add that, you get 93 degrees. But on this scale here, we have to plot if it's going that direction, we have to take it away from 360 to get on here. So 360 minus 93, 267. So this one's plotted two, uh, uh, 267, and this is 38. This is the equator right here. Okay, so that's that one. And then the other is plotted the same way. That one's starting at 48, and it's going down to 21, and it's at 328, 25, 26, 328, and you see here we have a D longitude 157 to 125, 32, 360 minus 32, 328. So these are the two examples set up here. Now, they're not going to be, f going forward from here, they're not going to be exactly the same. And the first one's going to be easier in a sense because um, 
we, we've got this pin here and this this template we okay the next step you do is you take one of the blue templates that's the closest one to your latitude of departure in this case the first example we did right on 45 so we can just go ahead and put this guy right in the hole like this and then you rotate that around so you see now if you look carefully here you'll see that that's that 45 point that's right overhead so we're like at the geographical position here and then these are great circle lines emanating out of here and we're going to 38 we're going over to um, 38 which is right here let me see that I've got everything lined up see it's not lined up so you go line that up very carefully right there okay that okay that's lined up then I come over here to read this and this is like 300 a little closer to that's 300 310 that's 305 it's a little closer to that one I'm calling it 302 so that's 302 degrees and is right on the 25 uh, let's see 25 looks like it's right on the 25 yeah that's what I got 302 and 25 so the answer to that is the initial heading on this route done from this device is 302 degrees and the distance is 25 then you have to do 90 uh, 90 minus 25 which equals 65 and then each one of those degrees is 60 that's 3900 so the real answer is 3962 we got 3900 the real heading is about 301 we got 302 so that's perfectly good enough you know as a workable solution um, and we can discuss that elsewhere but again this is not the this this is not the best way to do this but i'm just showing that it does indeed work it's another use of this device let's do the second example we're starting at 48 going to here so okay so now the point is we can't put this temp this is a key step which is probably going to apply to most cases because these templates come every 10 degrees at the 15s let me say it that way so it's 45 then it's 55, you know, 30, 45, 35, 25, and then 55, so forth. So you've got to pick the one that's closest to your departure latitude, 48, then the closest is 45. But we can't put it on here because it won't get the right point of the sky overhead. So now let's do this. You, you, still, take, you still take this line and line it up with this line here. Let me do this. But now I want, uh, where is 48? Uh, I want, um, oh no, wait. I want, see there's the hole locking in at 45. I gotta be careful, get that out of there. I want this over 48. I want this still all lined up and this, this one I want over 48. So what that will do is effectively put this button, it'll pretend there's a hole here at 48, right? It'll be, see, there's 50, there's 45. It's trying to punch a hole at 48, but there's none there. So we just hold it loose. And once we have that all done, we can just hold that tight. And then we go back over here. And there's our guy right here, still all lined up, yeah. And so this one you see is right on 230, 230, 230, right on 235. So the heading's 235. And it looks like it's right on 55. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, 235. That's what I had in my, I did a quick check. 235 and 55. So it's 235. That's bang on the right answer here. And then what, uh, 20, 55. 90 minus 55 is 35 times 60, 2100. So the right answer is 20. No, 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 no. The right answer is 2210, we get 2100. So the distance is off, but you, the distance really never matters in this. What matters is the heading. What matters is the heading. So we're back here. We know that if we end up getting four, we want to go, let's say, rum line, if we can. Normally, you don't even want to go rum line. You want to go down here, further south. But let's say you want to go rum line, but you end up beating somehow, and you can't go that way. So you end up going clear up here at 235, and everybody says, oh, that's too bad. We're not going the right way. And you can say, actually, we are going the right way. We're pointing right at Hawaii at the moment. 
uh, and so forth. And you can then ride along that way for a day or two and it won't matter. You can stay on this great circle route for a day or two, but then you better start heading south or you'll hit the high right there. Okay, that's the demo. It works. It looks like it works really well. Oh, I got to stop the right device here. <laughs>